like, it looks like they seem to be getting through. There you are. Okay, there you are. Apologies for the lack of formalities. Um, it looks like you started to lucid dream. I was on my way to give you the normal checkup on your dreams and general mental health. Uh, but the problem is, is that you're a little inexperienced with lucid dreaming. And normally that wouldn't be an issue. It's just a learning how you get there and all that. But, um, you, you seem to have gotten stuck. I was notified on my way here that, uh, You've been sleeping for too long, so we need to get to waking up. But, so essentially what happened is that you started a lucid dream and you lost focus on the ending of the dream. So. We need to find the ending of your dream. It's kind of like having a story without a climax and without a conclusion. So what you seem to be having trouble with is, um, hold on. It seems that... You... <laughs> You've been wanting to get a haircut, <laughs> and you're conflicted on what kind of haircut you want? All right, okay. Um, I'm a paralysis demon. I am used to mental uh, types of issues. I'm not much of a but, uh, hmm, if I look through your mindscape, I can probably find something that could help us. Because I can see your opinions on, well, hairdos. <laughs> so give me a moment to search through a little bit of your mind. Let me see. Okay. So it seems like something a little shorter, but not too much. Okay, I can do that. I can try to. One of the first things we're taught when we come into being as paralysis demons is to fabricate skills based on another's mindset. So it looks like your world's barbers. We're going to need to get you a cover. A body cover. Give me a moment. Let me... Black, made of polyester? Or some sort of machine. Let me see. Ah, this'll do. get this over you. Just big enough, it looks like, to go all the way over you. However, I am having trouble. Ah, there we go. Let's tie this around your neck so that those pesky little fibers of keratin 
don't get all over you. Sound good? All right. Spread that out a little bit. get cutting, we're going to need to wet your hair, and I should probably grab a few combs, so that I'll make it a little smoother, and so I don't cut too much that I haven't sectioned off. So, let's get doesn't mean it's not uncomfortable. They practically soak your hair before these. In fact, it looks like... Mm, it looks like when you go to get your hair done, you actually get it washed, don't you? <laughs> Despite having already showered the day of... Alright, alright, that should be good enough. Your hair did get very long, oh my gosh. Well, that's fine. I'll help you find something, hopefully something you'll like, and then, once you know what you want for a haircut in the real world, you'll return there and take care of things because you've been sleeping quite a long time. Alright. Alright. I'll keep this out in case I need to wet your hair anymore. Okay. Now, let me get my combs. They're in a little baggy to keep them from being lost. Let's get one of these. I still have to wonder, what are these large spikes at the end? You create these to help you go through your hair but the handle is this large spike that seems dangerous. Hmm. It seems the barbers of your world seem to use them for... undoing tangles? Your hair is pretty... fairly straight, at least after I wet it. So hopefully we won't need that. Okay. Now we have the one that has the full length of teeth with larger teeth and smaller teeth. Then we have the one with seemingly medium or just larger teeth and the large untangler. So the untangler is a little easier to hold and your hair is pretty sectioned off already. So I'm going to use this one, and I will find my scissors as well. Let me set these aside, and I'll grab my little clips that are in the same bag as well, just in case I need them. Little clips. Alright. Set those aside, and... These scissors. Are in their own little bag. 
package. So I'll use this. two sets of scissors. So for now, since we kind of want to just set the length, we're going to be using the set of scissors that have straight ends, straight blades, however you want to call it. Straight edge. Yes. Straight edge. That's what I'm looking for. Let's get that out of its little package. So now we have the scissors, and we're going to use those paired with the comb. To help cut your hair to length. And then we'll use the jagged edges to blend it up a little so that it doesn't look like a bowl cut or anything too tacky and straight. <laughs> Let me set that aside for now. For now, your hair started dry, so give me a moment. We'll start on the right side, and then I'll try to equalize it out on the left side a little bit. And then I'll get to the back. We'll leave you some bangs that you can style yourself in the future. But for now, let us get to work. Bangs, however, are a little bit different in that they seem to be, they're already pretty short. But you also seem to like having them long enough to cover your eyes? Well, I feel like that'd be a bit of a hindrance, wouldn't it? I get, well, whatever you're happy with. But, um, we're gonna be cutting most of the longer hair. Because it looks like, from your memories, You've been having trouble with it, um, <laughs> getting in your food and caught in your mouth. So it seems like some of the females in your world, <laughs> from your memories, it looks like some of the females seem to eat their hair. Well, chew on? I don't know. That's very strange. Humans are a weird breed. My entire race and being is based on your guys' memories and thoughts and dreams. Mostly, aside from animals and things that also have dreams, but it's uh, strange to think of some of the things you do. You know? Because we're still different creatures, despite how I look. Alright. Let me cut a little off the top. Alright. Just to shorten it up and even it. It looks a little better 
but it does look a little bit um, a little <laughs> it's basically a bob right now but it's not very layered so it doesn't look very good so give me a moment I'm just gonna cut it a little bit here I'll try to layer it up with vertical cuts before I get the actual layering scissors. All right, and let me just wet your hair a little more. In the back, I shortened up quite a bit, but it's still a little longer, a little bit longer than the sides, just a little. I can shorten it up later down the line if you'd prefer. Alright, so looking good, looking good. Let me actually brush out the hair just a little bit. Give me a moment. Just a little bit for now. And your bangs. I remember there used to be times where when we dream demons, paralysis demons, however you want to call us, when we were younger, we would pretend that we were human and we play things like dress up and house and things like that. And so in our early stages, we would do things that like this with each other. So I would often brush each other's hairs. I never cut each other's hairs, but we did brush each other's hairs, and it was very fun. It was very relaxing, honestly. I very much enjoyed it, both giving and taking. <laughs> because, let's be honest, it's very nice to have a little bit of nurturing in your life, you know? Just a little bit. Alright, now that your hair is a little straightened out, we got a little bit of that out of there. Let me actually wipe up your ears a little. So there's a little bit that got around the outside here, a little bit inside your ear. So let me get to both sides. sure that you aren't going to be trying to clean your own ears at home again. away and let's put away our normal scissors because most likely I won't need them for the rest of this little haircut. So let's put those away in here. All right.
Gonna put these away. And we're gonna get the others. the bigger one this time to make sure I get the small teeth and so I can get a little bit more at the more specific parts of your hair. the back of your hair because we're going to be layering up the back of your hair quite a bit. It seems one haircut you definitely don't seem to want is the Karen haircut. What is this Karen haircut? Hold on. Oh, I see. Okay. So <laughs> those are very rude people. Why? Why are they called Karens? I don't understand. When, hmm. It's just a name. That's odd. They're called Karens despite their name. That's regrettable for anybody actually named Karen. Alright, but... Got it, so you don't want what seems to be a layered bob going over one eye, except for you also do want that. I'm lost, but I'll do my best. Alright. Okay. So we're going to layer up the right side. a little bit to the back. I'll shorten this up just a little bit more as well. Alright. A little bit more. How's it look? Looks okay. Looks okay. It could use a little more shortening. Right. And let's get to the left side, even it out with the right side. Your right? My left? Unsure. So you want your bangs a little uneven, so they're not as straight across, but you don't want them to be like a cut across. So you want them uneven, but you don't want them to be... Okay, I think I've got it. Let's make them kind of curled up so that... You can style them on your own and push them out of the way if you like. Sound good? Alright. And I'll try to blend them up into the sides.
All right. Okay. I don't have a hair dryer, so I'll just have to make it dry myself. Because this is still my realm, although it's currently melded with your lucid dreaming realm. It's not hard for me. To do something as simple as temperature change. Water is harder to conjure up, amusingly. There we go. But, yeah, water is harder to conjure up, hence why I have a spray bottle. But... We need your hair dry, so I can do and brush it out. Because otherwise, we're going to have more issues. <laughs> Brushing out your hair when it's wet is fine, but it's not going to get as many of the, um, what's it called? Hairs. Little keratin strands. There we go. All of that out of here. <sighs> Don't want that on your neck. Thankfully, we do have the cover. Maybe I was wrong. We do have a few tangles. in the front you don't have too much. I don't have to worry too much about your bangs. There we go. Go the right side. Right side's good. You seem to prefer having your hair put to one side. Naturally, it does go to one side. It seems that's called a cow look. Were you licked by a cow? They have very long tongues, if I remember correctly. A lot of people actually dream of cows and farm animals when they go to sleep. I don't know why. Not of these sheeps. For whatever reason, people tend to dream of sheeps quite a lot. I've been to worlds where there's just shapes everywhere, hopping over fences and I don't know. Maybe it's because they're fluffy and they're kind of like pillows. Maybe that's the reasoning for it. I don't know. But it's very entertaining. Uh, though it is kind of hard when they've counted so high all these sheeps that I can't even find them in their own world. And they're usually under said pile of sheeps, just happily sleeping away the day. And I have to find them. I need to make them up because we need to have our appointment. I guess they're always having a fine dream and having a good night though, so I guess it's fine. Do you do that? In the times I've gone to your dreams, I have not found any sheeps. Maybe you count something else. You know, everybody seems to have their own way of falling asleep. But that is neither here nor there. Back 
your neck. The rest of your neck, so there's nothing there either. Because it looks like some of those little keratin strands are still trying to get under our cover. And we don't want that because I don't want you waking up itchy without anything to itch. Well, that would be a different sort of torture. Wipe off what's left of those bangs. There we go. You're looking so handsome and beautiful. There we go. Alright. What do you think? Okay. Good, 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 good. I'll never think of myself as a barber, but it's good enough, it's good enough. Okay. Now, let's get back to our appointment. So, what did you dream about? Was it a good dream? Mm-hmm. <laughs>